I think there's so many things to figure out in the early years. I think I was really driven on, on the music side and uh, thinking, you know, I want to have like a perfect concert, get the pieces to sound as, as good as they can, that I neglected the, some of the human element that I was just talking about, about like tending to that. I think I was, I, I remember one day I, 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 I would do like pop, pop challenges or pop quizzes in band. And, and one day I, I, I just went down the line, had everybody like clap this rhythm and, and the, the principal trumpet player didn't get the rhythm right. And I moved him from first chair to fourth chair. And, and, and that day he went to the counseling office and dropped band. And, and, and so I would say that, that, I, that was, you know, a, a, a error of judge, error in judgment, you know? Uh, I think um, thinking, oh, this is, you know, this is going to just build a motivation and whatnot. But in fact, it, it had the opposite effect. So it definitely had a lot to learn in terms of, um, you know, making sure that the students are doing OK uh, and, and not making like the product uh, sacrifice the well-being of a student. And I think early in my career, that was something I needed to wrestle with. So let's just go to that situation really quick. Um, so what was the, what was the impact on their fellow players, their fellow band people that stayed of that person leaving? That's a really good question. Now, the, the reason just to give us some context, this was something that the prior director kind of did regularly. And, and so I was just trying to follow in their footsteps thinking, you know, there was challenge system was a big deal. Um, and, and I didn't think that it was so out of the ordinary. So I, I actually can't recall, you know, the, the other three trumpets, how, how they responded. Um, I definitely saw it as a loss. Yeah. I just wonder if it, if it did exactly what you thought, maybe not for that one child, but for everyone else, it set a standard. Yeah. I mean, the way I try to live now is to, to have a high standard in music, but not at the expense of, you know, somebody's dignity. Yeah. Do you do chairs? Uh, at, at Lawrence University, we we do auditions and we do select um, a section leader. Who's generally the, the ranked first in the auditions, but then we mix up the seating arrangement for each piece. So students can have an experience being a principal player while they might not be the section leader. So the section leader's responsibility is to lead sectionals. But if you're a principal player on a piece, you co-lead the sectional for that piece with the section leader. And can you challenge that person or is it there that for the year? It depends on the studio. Most studios just do auditions once and then it's set. But at Lawrence, it's, it's a really supportive family studio environment where I, I haven't seen that, um, that attitude, like, oh, I want to bump somebody out of their, out of their chair. It's just, I haven't seen that. And I think that's been fostered to have a, a non-competitive environment amongst the students, right? It's, it's more about competing against yourself than against the other students. 